Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ebert Huber. In this video, I'm going to show you how you find the HCF or highest common factor of three numbers. You have 396, 504, and uh, 636 to work with, okay? If you have done the previous videos, so you can work ahead of me, you can just pause the video and then work ahead and then see. But then if you want simpler um, explanations, if you haven't done the, the other videos, then you can just uh, head over there right now uh, in the contact card there at the top. And then uh, later on, you can you can come here, okay? But essentially, we are, we are using a, a three-step process. So the first procedure, the first, the first step in the procedure would be to express the numbers as products of their prime numbers, okay? So these numbers here, you have to express them as product of their prime numbers. So here uh, you're combining your knowledge of of prime numbers with with uh, your knowledge of of factors. Okay, so here we want to investigate the factors, but then we are only dealing with prime number factors. Okay, so let me just uh, put yeah, that's good. So what you do, the tool that you use is called the T diagram. So this one is called the T diagram. So you can just use a ruler to uh, write to write to draw your t diagram like this. So now you're looking for factors. This factors should be prime numbers, factors of whatever number would be. Okay, so 396. Uh, by inspection, you can see that three is definitely a factor because all the digits have three in them. Okay, all the digits are multiples of of three. So I'm going to try three here. I get one, then here three, then into six I get two. Now three is no longer a factor. Three might not be a factor. It might be a factor, but then it's it's not very clear. Okay, what's clear is that two is definitely a factor, just because our number ends in a in an even number here. So I'm going to try two. So two into thirteen, you get uh, six up to up to twelve. Okay, so remainder one. Then into into twelve, you get six again. So three is definitely a factor. Okay, so even if we had uh, uh, you, we had, we had divided by three in, in this step, we would have uh, made it through still okay so 3 3 into 6 you get 2 into uh, 6 you get 2 again then here 2 is a factor so you get 11 then 11 is a factor then you get 1 so here take note of the, my presentation because presentation it's, uh, it's an important part of maths okay because you're communicating important ideas uh, in maths so 396 is equal to I'm going to write all the all the numbers that I have here. So I'm just going to write them in the order that, that they are given, okay? So I have one, two, three, four, five numbers there. I have one, two, three, four, five numbers. So I'm happy with this. Then we can also do the same for 504. So I'm going to propose the, the same T diagram. So I'm going to write 504 here. Uh, two is definitely a factor. So I'm going to start with two. Into five, you get two. Remember one into 10, then you get five into four then you get two two keeps working okay just because it's ending in in an even number so two into two you get one two into five then you get two remainder one then two into six into twelve then you get six uh, okay two keeps working so i'm going to use you can also use three here so two into into twelve then you get uh, uh six so two into twelve you get six then two into six then you get three so now i'm going to use uh three so 3 into into 6, then you get 2. And then 3 into uh, 3, then you get 1, obviously. Uh, and then I'm going to use 3 again. Then you get 7. Then 7, then you get 1, okay? So now I'm going to collect my, my prime numbers. So this, this would be my, my prime numbers here. So it's uh, 2 by 2 by 2 by 3 by 3 by 7, like this, okay? So now notice my, my presentation. Obviously, my handwriting is lousy. But then just note my presentation, okay? Just present your stuff as, as clear as possible. So we are going to, to do another separate T diagram here. Okay, so... So we were going to do for 636 like this. Okay, so I'm going to try two first. So two... Ah, I'm going to try three first. Three is good. So 3 into, into 6, then you get 2, into 3, then you get 1, into 6, then you get what? You get you get 2. So 3 into 6, then you get 2, then 3 into 3, then you get 1, 3 into 6, then you get 2, okay? Then I'm going to try 2, so 2 into 2, then you get 1, into 1, you get 0, remainder 1, then into 12, you get 6. 
I'm going to keep trying to because two is working. So here you get 50, you get five, and then here it would be would be uh, 20, 26, then you get um, three, okay. So 53 is definitely a prime number. So 53 into 53, you get one like this, okay. So here, what you'd be having, you'd be having three by two by two by 53 like this. What I want you to do is to write your cosines here. In this first step here, you're supposed to express your, your prime numbers in powers form. So in index form, so this one would be, you can you can take two for example, and then you figure out how many twos are there. There, there are only two twos. So two to the power two multiplied by uh, three to the power two as well. So there are three, two, three, there are two threes, and then there's also 11. So here you can you can count the number of uh, digits that you have. So you, you have this 11, which is one, then two, uh, then two, then three, then four, then five. So it's, it's five like this. Okay, you count the, the powers when there's a power. When there's a number, you just count it as one. So here, on this one, it'd be two to the power three, multiply by three to the power two, multiply by seven, like this. And here, we get um, three, multiply by two to the power two, multiply by 53, like this, okay? So here, I'm going to write HCF equal to, so highest common factor, as common factor, the guideline is that you take whatever uh, factors are common. So here you can check for, for these three. Do we have two in common? Yes, we have two in common. So this, that's incredible. We need uh, two there. And then do we have three in common? So we have three in common. Okay, so we need three there. Do we have 11 in common? Nope. We have, do we have seven in common? Nope. Do we have um, 53 in common? Obviously no. And then where there are conflicts, you take the lower power. So if you compare then the common numbers, and then you take the lower power for whatever uh, your numbers that you have. So you have three, and then you have, two, you have three, and then you have two, and then you have two. So obviously we're going to take two here. And then for, for, the, for three, you have three, you have two, then you have two, then you have one, because it's just three to the power one. So we take the lower power, which is one here. So uh, we just leave it like this, okay. And then here you have two to the power two, which is four multiplied by three. Four multiplied by three, you get 12. So the highest common factor of uh, these three numbers, it's actually 12, okay? So this is how you go about it. Uh, if you're interested in uh, some of these steps, okay? So if you're interested in uh, the logical steps, they're very simple steps to help you understand maths better, to help you score well in your exam, then you might want to check out our website, okay? Primary.com. We have uh, massive materials there, especially for maths. Uh, we're putting together videos which are very focused and uh, which will help you, help you out, okay? Especially if you're doing Zimsek in Zimbabwe. So we think that this this would be a cool way of um, uh, getting some extra lessons. And it's very cheap as well, okay? So that's just about it. If you're interested, you just contact uh, us with the, using the, the number in the description or on your screen. And then we'll be able to uh, create an account for you so that you can start learning with us. So that's essentially it uh, for now. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You are out.